Welcome back to UTSA football and welcome to week three this week from Ohio as the one and one UTSA Roadrunners are set for their third contest of the year against the one and oh number 23 ranked in the nation Ohio Bobcats back to back road games for UTSA. They were able to contend with the high scoring Hawaii offense last week and won that game 38 to 31 and they'll need to be focused this week as the Ohio Bobcats look for their second victory defending their home stadium in front of a packed house of 24,000 fans. Week 3 action is up next. It took 38 points last week to get the job done, but two defensive touchdowns along with a special team score helped UTSA to a 7 point victory. Eric Hancock was able to limit mistakes last week, and he'll look to do the same today. On second and nine, Hancock is dropped for a loss quickly, a loss of five, and that will back up UTSA to third and long now on this first possession. Third and 14 for Hancock. Three receivers out, slot right is Darren Rose, and Hancock looks Rose's way, well short of the first down, and UTSA will bring out the punting unit. Ohio football for the first time today, first down and 10 for Corey Parker as he hands off to David Swan, right side looking for running room, gets a gain of about 9. In Roadrunner territory already, second and 1. Now Parker looks to scramble and he picks up a first down across the 30 and is taken down by Dallas Johnson. Now a man in motion and Parker fakes the handoff, option right but he runs right into Mohair and that's a loss of 4. Quick update here from the studio as Texas State is giving Michigan a run for their money in the first half. Texas State, of course, UTSA's biggest rival, but back to the field, third down and 14. Parker with time, end zone, it's knocked away. Ralph can't handle it, and it's incomplete. Here it is one more time, and Butler was there on coverage. Now a long field goal attempt by Morris, and his kick is good. And Ohio takes the game's first lead, 3-0 Bobcats. And Hancock will begin this next possession. And he throws over the middle. It's caught by Randy Jones for a gain of about eight. Third down and four now for Hancock. Single back set under center. Takes the snap. Quick throw. Caught by Darren Rose, the slot receiver. The chains will move. Rose is currently the team's leading receiver with 135 yards entering today. On second and five, Banks goes left side on the counter for five. Third down now for Hancock as he takes the shotgun snap. Waiting in the pocket now, throwing to Jones, and it's ripped out of his hands. Can't hang on. Incomplete pass, and UTSA will punt. Ohio's possession again, second down and nine. David Swan up the gut, and he finds running room and is taken down by Butler after a first down. 2.04 to play in the first quarter. Here's Parker to throw, and now he'll run. He has room across the 40, and he gets a block and is up past the 35, taken down by Carter, and Jones at the 33. New set of downs with Roberts in motion. Parker takes the snap, lobs outside for Roberts. Good throw, first down catch inside the 20, knocked out by Ford. Second and six with Ohio threatening inside the red zone. Swan up the middle and running room again across the five. Bobcats now in a goal to go situation. Second down and goal, Parker hands off to Swan. Right side and he's into the end zone for an Ohio Bobcat touchdown. Nine nothing all Ohio in the first quarter. 10-0 Ohio, UTSA trailing on the road, nearing the end of the first quarter. Hancock with a blitz picked up, and now he's under pressure and sacked for a loss of 10. Rough start for the UTSA offense. Hancock on second and 20. Lobs it outside for Banks, who makes the catch. Looking for him after the catch, and he gets about 10 yards. Now a manageable third down and 10. Can Hancock convert? He'll throw over the middle. Open is Randy Jones. He hangs on this time, and the sticks will move. Hancock again out of the gun as they're trying to neutralize this pass rush from Ohio. Hancock takes the snap and he dumps it off to Darren Rose, working his way to the left sideline across midfield. First down runners. Good little drive UTSA is going here as Moss is split right and the pass is caught over the middle by Stevens and that will move the chains again. Moss still in the game at tailback and he takes the handoff from Hancock. Cuts up the middle and that's good for a first down. 421 to play in the first half, and here's Hancock to throw on first and 10. His quick throw is caught by Rose in traffic, and that's good for six. And now Anthony Banks back in the game. He takes the handoff. Stretch play to the right, trying to go outside. Banks turns the corner and is shoved out of bounds after getting the first down. Goal to go for UTSA. It's third down. Hancock out of the gun. End zone, and Darren Rose has his third touchdown of the season. Hancock fitted in between two defenders, and there was the waiting hands of Darren Rose to secure the touchdown catch. Rose has been off to a very fast start this season and has UTSA's first points today. 
Good drive to answer by UTSA, and now it's 10-7 Ohio. With Parker in trouble, he rolls out and is taken down by Andre Ross for his first sack on the season. Loss of seven, now it's third down and 17. Corey Parker in the pocket, goes short right, and it's caught by Davis, who's immediately taken to the ground. A gain of seven, and UTSA forces fourth down. Three and out for Ohio, it's UTSA football. Here's the counter play left side for Banks, and he's got about six yards in this handoff. Second down and four, I form now with battle in the game at fullback, and Banks cuts to the outside, finds the lane, and picks up the first down across the 45. Two receivers right, Darren Rose in the slot, Hancock rolls right, short pass is caught by Whitaker, nice block by Rose, up to the 35, first down UTSA. And now Evan Newton with the Wildcat, and Newton will run with this one. On second down, Newton has about one or two yards, it'll be third and seven. 34 seconds in the clock running, third down and seven for Eric Hancock, pass left, cut by Stevens, and he gets a block from Rose and Stevens gives UTSA a three-point lead. A simple quick out by Stevens and the defender tried to knock it away and missed. And Darren Rose has been tremendous blocking in this game and springs Stevens for an extra 15 yards and a touchdown. 23 seconds before halftime, Ohio football setting up a screen and Parker goes down. He's sacked back at the 10-yard line. And that's how we'll go into the break. UTSA 14, Ohio 10. Ohio had a fast start, but UTSA did a great job answering. Second half up next. Number 23, Ohio trailing the 1-1 one one UTSA Roadrunners. 14-10 here in the third quarter. Corey Parker wants to scramble. He will get the first down, but Sean Hunter doesn't let him get too far. After the chains move, Parker option right side, pitches to Swan, and Swan gets a block across midfield, and he's in the clear. David Swan, touchdown Bobcats. Only takes them a handful of plays to score. It is a 65-yard touchdown for David Swan. 17-14, Ohio reclaims their lead, but now it's runner football. With Hancock in trouble, he loses the football. UTSA recovers. Third and 14 following the fumble, and Hancock lines up out of the shotgun middle, and Darren Rose couldn't make the catch, and Ohio will receive the ball after a punt. The momentum seems to have shifted again in Ohio's favor. It's second down, and Swan takes his carry, breaks free from Brandon Ford, taking down one yard shy of the first down. Third and short with UTSA showing blitz, and Parker's immediately taken down by Cedric Parker. A perfectly executed blitz to negate the option, and UTSA's defense comes up big. And now the punt with Vince Taylor back deep inside his own 15-yard line. He feels the kick and looks to come near side. Across the 20, 25 to the 30, taken down at the 31-yard line. UTSA has possession. Ohio shows blitz. They're sending it. Hancock's throw caught by Banks. He won't get too far. Maybe a gain of two at the most. Now three wide shotgun for Hancock. Rose slot left. Hancock steps up. Waiting and now fires it deep. And intercepted by Mitchell. Intended for Randy Jones. And Mitchell is down at the Ohio 41-yard line. Hancock took a shot for Jones. But the defender made a great play on the football. And it's Bobcat ball. Three-point game out of the pistol is Parker, and he fakes the handoff. Great option. He breaks to the outside, and Parker has a first down right about around midfield. And here it is one more time. Perfectly executed. Second and five for the Bobcats. Once again, Parker out of the pistol. Another option play. Parker keeps it to the right side, and he has a first down again nearing field goal range. First down, UTSA sends the rush, and Parker breaks out of a sack, and Parker throws it long, it's overthrown. Almost a disaster for Ohio, they hold on. Second down and 10, and here goes the run. It's Swan up the middle, and he's got a first down now on this 11-yard carry. Ohio wants to make this a two-score game again. Parker back to pass, and he's going to run. Up the middle, he has Green. Across the 10 to the 5. Met by Butler, and fumble. The UTSA Roadrunners have it. A.J. Brown picks it up, up to the 27-yard line. UTSA football. Corey Parker tries the run again, but Mike Butler rips it out, and A.J. Brown is there, the opportunist, to pick it up. Key red zone turnover for the runner defense. Now they have the football again with 2.35 to go in the third quarter. Hancock quickly over the middle. It's caught by Stevens, and they'll take a gain of six. At the UTSA 35-yard line, third down and two. 
Draw play for Banks. Up the middle, he's got running room, and UTSA will move the chains. Hancock lines up under center out of the twin tight end formation, and he drops back to throw, waiting in the pocket, and he's hit and dropped for a loss of about eight yards. Second down and 18 following the sack, and Hancock will look to throw, stepping up, and over the middle, the pass is knocked away, intended for Stevens. Good defense by Ohio, it's third and forever for UTSA. They need 18 yards. Hancock moving to his right, off balance throw, caught by Randy Jones at the 45, well short of the first down. Fourth and seven. We will now enter the fourth quarter, a hard fought third as the defenses came alive for both squads. 17-14 Ohio on top. One quarter left to decide the victor. Ohio has the football. Corey Parker swings out of the back with the David Swan, and he's taken down immediately by Trey Mohair. Third and 16, UTSA's defense still playing strong. They drop all but three guys back in coverage, and Pierce makes the catch. Carter wraps him up. It'll be two yards shy of the first down. That was a very close play. Ohio almost got the conversion. Good throw by Parker, but Carter's there for the sure tackle. Vince Taylor awaiting the punts. Can he get UTSA some solid field position inside his 25-yard line? Feels the kick right in the middle of the field and comes to the near side again. Across the 40 and upfield the 45 and taken down. Solid return. UTSA has it at their own 45-yard line. Six minutes to play. Hancock over the middle. Caught by Robert Stanley. Good for about nine yards. And now down to an eye formation after they spread it out on first down. Here's Banks left side. He gets a block, breaking across the 30 and taken down at the 26. Good run for Banks. UTSA in field goal position that would tie the game. 4.48 to play. Hancock back to pass and he's sacked by a gang of Bobcats and the ball's loose. Beach picks it up. UTSA retains but Hancock on the ground. He's in pain, grabbing his arm. He'll leave the field. Eric Hancock has left and Evan Newton enters the game on third down and 18. Three wide for Evan, looking to throw. And he's sacked again, UTSA loses five more yards. The sixth sack for Ohio. And that could knock him out of field goal range. UTSA will punt. Not gonna try the field goal, they'll put the trust in their defense and Reed's kick will go into the end zone. That is a touchback for Ohio. First down and 10, Bobcats as they want to put away the runners. Swan runs left, runs through Butler and is taken down. He gains five yards. 2.51 to play. Pistol formation for Parker. Handoff Swan up the middle through the tackle of Andre Ross and the chains will move. First down and 10. UTSA may have to start using timeouts. Swan back again up the middle and Kyle Jones is there for a stout stop for a gain of zero. Just over two minutes to play, second down for Parker, this time he's throwing, outside, caught by Davis, and he somehow made that catch, and there was Jason Holmes right in the vicinity, and first down again for Ohio. That was a big first down, and now the chains move again, under two minutes to play, here's Swan again, he takes the hand off on the counter, and it'll go up the left side, and that's going to be close to a first down. Second and inches, handoff Swan, outside to the right, breaks free from Johnson, stiff arms Jason Holmes, first down Bobcats. One more first down and this game is over. Two timeouts for UTSA, Swan on the carry again, he picks up a solid four yards on the right side. Second down and six, one timeout for UTSA, option right, pitch to Swan, taken down to the 40, big loss, it's third and 12. If UTSA can hold them here, they'll have a slight chance at winning this game. Third and 12 for Parker, he's back to throw, over the middle deep, and it's intercepted by Jason Holmes, down inside the 20 yard line, but UTSA has the football, as Jason Holmes looks to redeem himself in a UTSA. They have the opportunity, what will they do with it? It looks like Hancock is good to go. He's out there for first down. 59 seconds to play. No timeouts from the 18-yard line. Hancock to throw. Looking deep for Darren Rose. He makes the catch inside the 20. Darren Rose. Touchdown. UTSA does it in one play. And right away, they send the slot machine deep, and it's all speed. Darren Rose is one of the fastest players, if not the fastest, on the team. And he just took the top off the defense, and the lead is back in the hands of UTSA. Darren Rose has shown that he is UTSA's wild card, and now UTSA is a four-point lead. Can they hold on? Corey Parker looking for the screen. He's taken down for a big sack, 11-yard loss.
Ohio does have two timeouts. 46 seconds for Corey Parker. Slant middle, caught by Ralph. That's a nice gain. It'll be third down and seven coming up. Timeout called by Ohio. One left, 42 seconds. Corey Parker to throw. He dumps it off to Brooks. And Brooks has the first down up past the 35-yard line, just shy of the 40. Only 32 seconds remains. Ohio almost in runner territory. And here's Parker. He wants to run. And there's Kellen Thomas. And he's not going to let him go anywhere. Three-yard loss, a big sack there by Thomas. And now third and 13, Pierce makes the catch. Only three yards, it's gonna be fourth down and 10. Ohio hurrying up back to the line. Seven seconds and running, six seconds. Here's the snap to Parker. He's gonna run, he's taken down by Mitchell and that's gonna end the game. UTSA is going to knock off the Ohio Bobcats, 21 to 17. UTSA's second ever victory against a ranked opponent. UTSA stuns the Bobcats, an extremely hard fought game by both sides, but in the end, the play that decided it all, 82 yards from Eric Hancock to Darren Rose. All it was was one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Darren Rose was just too fast. There's a reason why he's become a fan favorite this season, and Rose helps UTSA to their second victory on the season. Now 2-1, they'll prepare for their Conference USA opener. That will be in two weeks. They'll celebrate this victory through the bye week and then prepare to go home to the Alamo Dome where they'll face ECU in the Conference USA opener. 2-1, and one, not bad for non-conference play against tough opponents. And so next, we'll see ECU take on UTSA from the Alamo Dome in Week 5. Thanks for watching, everybody. A very exciting victory today. And we'll see you next time with UTSA football.